Hey everyone, it's Ometer, and today I have, um, I think this is my first year, I mean my first video of the year of 2020, so I wanted to show you guys the reveal of the January 2020 Club La La Land Crafts Kit Club, and as always you guys have to a limited day to get this actual kit as your first kit, as your first kit that you get. For January, so you have until January 20th to sign up for this. So let's just get into it. Let me just go ahead and show you. And I have a few projects to show you as well. So of course, you know they always come in one of these fabulously shiny golden envelopes. And just like a little golden ticket, you get a bunch of cool stuff. Now, for the kits, if you don't know, you have the option of doing three different things. You can either do just the stamps or just the dies or the entire thing and just go ahead and do the entire thing. Why not? Because it's all coordinated, all of the stamps and they're individual to this kit club. And from, um, they don't get released otherwise, um, except for this kit club. And once you join the kit club, you'll get access to the previous ones as well. But you will also get access to individual tutorials that the design team will be posting on. And you can't see it here because of course it's just private for whoever subscribes to this, uh, club kit. Now in this, there are two sets of rubber stamps in each kit. This one is Happy Mail rubber stamp and also Marcy with pen rubber stamp. And they are right here. This is the stamp set. So if you do just the stamps, you will get these two. And again, you have until the 20th. So this is Marcy with pen with several sentiments. And then these cute, cute little piggies are the Happy Mail stamp set. And these are both in rubber stamp set form. The dies are the, let me put this over here. The dies are, ah, I'm having issues today. So, okay, like always, right? So the dies are this cute, cute mailbox. Now, this mailbox is super cute because it actually opens. So, and I'll show you in one of my projects where it actually, the little flap actually opens. So you can make it more interactive and have stuff going in or out of that. You also get the with love word right here and it's all stitched and cute and this is super cute you get an ink bottle and a a pen to go with it and this is the ink with pen die the mailbox this is the with love label die and this one is the envelopes border now this one i actually used the whole border and i also did where i cut it up into several pieces so i'll show you guys that momentarily i'm trying to find something that i think i lost over here so anyhow but they will also get this um, this form, and this has all of the information, all of the description, the link to the exclusive club, um, club tutorials, and the Facebook group, which is tons of stuff in there. So you will see that. You will see all of the um, releases from, and I'm sorry, the projects from the design team, because we not only have projects for when the kits are being released prior to this, to give you a chance to go ahead and get this kit and like i said if you sign up after the 20th the first kit will be our actually our february kit so let me go ahead and show you the projects that i made and of course i'm not sure if you guys know but if you don't and of course probably you do i'm obsessed with um shaker cards i love making shaker cards and oh here's my little sticker so go ahead and check out my blog too <laughs> tell a little plug right there you can tell that the coffee is totally kicked in i might have had too much anyhow I used the scallops uh, rectangles to make the window, and in the little window, I have these little hearts that came out of the border die right here, the envelope border die. I cut a bunch of them as well to use as shaker bits along with iridescent sequins and some of the little envelopes in here, the little letters. So, sending my love, and now let me show you. For my sentiments, I love using these large stitch tag die also from the, um, from the club, <laughs> not from the kids, from the La Land Crafts, uh, website. And what I do is I cut it this way and then I cut it that way. So it gives me this perfect, it's basically, you can make, you can cut any size sentiment with these. I totally love using these. And they come in different sizes, but I usually end up using this one and just cut it like right there and then right there and boom, you have a custom sentiment. Here is Marcy with the pen. And of course, I used my Copic markers. I really haven't colored in such a long time. So she had a bad dye job. I apologize in advance, you guys. <laughs> like, trust me, she had a really bad... This thing I had to redo a couple of times. It um, it fought me because it's been a while since I've colored. I haven't had a chance to craft as much as I would like to. But there it goes. Her little outfit, her little tunic right here. 
and she has a little notepad like she's gonna write something. This cute little piggy with a bow is over here just writing a love letter. And th here is the With Love Die. Now, this is what I was saying with the mailbox right here. It is stitched and then it also has the cut so you can open it right here. Now, I just backed it with some more of this cardstock so it wouldn't look like it had a hole through it. Um, but yeah, and that is super cute. And look, it says mail on it. Super, super adorable. I like this because you can also use it for your other stamp sets, um, for your other figures and stamps and stuff that you might have, but it's super, super cute. So I fell in love with this. The funny thing is though, don't laugh at me. I didn't know until I cut it that it had this door. How embarrassing. And I call myself a crafter. I was like, cute. I love this little, um, this little mailbox. And then I cut it. And as I was, um, taking it off, it pulled the door and I'm like, oh my gosh, I ripped it. No, stupid Amador. Um, it has a cool little uh, mailbox slot. So that was super cool. Totally embarrassed, but there you go. And I said, you know what? I'm not going to tell people. But then I'm like, you know what? Whatever. Full disclosure. That's what happens. Now here is a... Oh my gosh, I have issues. The coffee was good, by the way. We have a new coffee set at the house. So yeah. So again, my little sticker in the back. So I did also use this... Hearts Forever background stamp set from that's that are regularly in the store. By the way, um, these dies, the scalloped rectangles, and these, and there's several per pack, by the way, and the uh, large stitch tags dies, those are regularly in the shop. And here I did several colors. And as always, I don't know if you noticed, but I always, if you guys even look back at my previous Valentine's Day pictures, I mean, cards and projects, I always want to throw in a little bit of mint or blue because I feel everything is just pink and red and it's kind of, you know, blah. Anyway, so here is the, um, the envelope border die. And here are some of the smaller of the scalloped rectangles. I just stamped various colors of the hearts forever background stamp and then just die cut them to fit what I needed but here is a little ink bottle and I colored the little uh, heart in red here's the pen and this cute little I thought these piggies were so cute side note this color I absolutely love it as you guys know I love Robin's egg blue but I've always wanted a Vespa I'm not gonna lie I have always always ever see ever since I was young and I saw um Roman Holiday random right so if you've seen that movie, you know what I'm talking about. Um, I wanted to be Audrey Hepburn riding on that little moped, on that little um, Vespa. I digress. This is taking a crazy turn. So I've always wanted one of those mint colored Vespas with the matching helmet and everything. Maybe this is an overshare, but you can tell I'm super excited. Not just because of the kids, because it's a new crafty year. So I really am excited to show you guys um, these uh, projects that, I'm done, that I've done. But that little Vespa totally got me excited and reminded me of um, of the fact that I want a little Vespa. So if anybody wants to send me one, there you go. If anyone has a little Vespa just lying around. Uh, <laughs> but that is what I absolutely love. And these little piggies. So here's this little piggy chasing after the little mailman, uh, trying to give him the little love letter for someone out there. And I also just based these. Now, what I like to do with these with my um, oh, mess with my cards is like um because we have other projects to be coming i like it to look like it's an actual set like they actually coordinate hence the colors and everything so i use the background stamp here on that one but yes i absolutely love my little shakers my little shaker cards but those are my little projects and again here is the kit and like i said you do have until the 20th to sign up and get this kit as your first kit. If not, you will be getting the February kit, which is super cute as well. You're not missing out, trust me. Um, but these are super cute and this is perfect for the beginning of the new year and especially Valentine's Day. So go check it out, you guys. Check out my blog, of course. Please subscribe, click, link, like, tap, double swiggle, swipe up and down. I don't know how, the, you know, all that cool stuff. But please go ahead and follow my blog. Of course, all of the links will be in the description. And of course, the links to all of these products and to the Kit Club if you guys are interested. But also more information and pictures on my blog. Thank you guys for stopping by and I will talk to you guys soon. Bye, everyone.